Welcome back to another informative and exciting episode of podcast where we cover everything cannabis and hemp. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, please do so, as this will help us sustain our channel. And remember to cannabis responsibly at all times. Welcome to another episode of podcast. I'm sitting here with Me Malisaid. How are you, my sister? I am fine, Moin. How are you? I'm always good. Thank you for asking. Please yes. do explain to the viewers who yeah. you are. Like, you're very important in this process of this cannabis thing. Yes. Explain it, please. So, I am representing a laboratory, MNA Laboratory. So, obviously, I come from the food, you know, the, the safety use of cannabis. Uh, we are a laboratory based in Johannesburg and we test for a very detailed analysis on cannabis for the industry yeah. and obviously for the market use. That could be your medical market or recreational use. So we are Sahara licensed and we are ISO uh, 17025 accredited laboratory. So that is us. So we mainly test for the safety use of cannabis okay. for the industry. That is awesome. Now tell me, how did you get to be part of such a thing? Cannabis testing, you know, all of the labs and stuff. How did you get to, 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 to be part of it? How did we get to be part of it? I mean, if you look at uh, the cannabis industry, um, there's been a lot of, you know, developments and expanding. And of course, it has been legislated now to be, in, in other words, what I'm saying has now been legalized to use cannabis. Yeah. So that's how we got into the industry. With any agricultural products, you have to test for the you know safety use. Mm. It could be food, it could be anything. Mm. So that's how we got involved and that's how we started positioning ourselves because now the cannabis industry is now legalizing, in the, it's now legalizing, it has been legalized and the legislation now says that people can use it. But it hasn't been fully legalized, it's been it, decriminalized. Yes, it has been decriminalized it has been it hasn't been it has been legalized but it's been decriminalized and uh, be, because of that now you know legislation says uh, people in the value chain how do we ensure that you know it's safety for you to use it yeah. and that's where we come in as laboratories wow that is awesome so now how does one get their cannabis tested you know obviously there's the structures that are put in place yeah what 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 procedures because I, I imagine now if people watching and somebody yeah. is interested in their cannabis being tested and stuff yes. like that what is the procedure for you guys to take that cannabis and say okay yeah. you will go test yours obviously yeah. you just don't test for everybody right yeah no for sure absolutely so, so what are those structures that are so the structures are we need to test for people who have separate license so, so you gotta have yeah. the license so you gotta have the license so if you don't have the license forget no forget we cannot we mm. are remember we are accredited we are within the law we yes. are an operating laboratory that yeah. within law mm. so now sapra has said to us because we have given you the license now for you to test you need to test for people that we also have given license to mm. so that that is the structure and the first thing is if you come to us and approach us and you require a service that's okay. that's what we request and once that is cleared then we tell you the procedure in terms of how much you know in terms of you know so how much yeah great let's talk <laughs> how it much? depends it depends on the you know uh so analyst. that it, the depending how much no for instance to give an example we just let me give you a breakdown of the test that you know we do in the laboratory we do okay. your pesticides we do your heavy metals we do aflatoxins, we do microbiology, we do uh, moisture. So each of those, they, there's, a certain, there's a certain limit that you limit. need to bring into the lab. Okay. And that is stipulated. So what's the limit? <laughs> for instance, for pesticides, you need 10 grams that you can bring into the lab. And, how and much that, that is be? stipulated into... Why are you not um, saying the numbers? <laughs> because it, it depends in terms of how many batches. So it, there isn't like... You so know, let's say you do have those 10 grams. But let's say for argument's sake. Right, I give you the 10 grams yeah. for you to test. Yeah, and it depends, remember. I said, you know, because it depends on the test that you require. Yeah. So if you require for pesticides, then you are roughly going yeah. to request for, for 10 grams. 10 grams, and, yes, yeah. And that grams. is stipulated on Sahara in, in terms of how much you can take in into the laboratory. We cannot just, you know, take any amount into our laboratory. But then how we, much is the cost to test? It depends. It, it really depends. It depends. Uh, it depends also in terms of, you know, looking at the industry yeah. and how much, you know, our competitors are also, you know, uh, charging. And also, again, depends on, on the customer. Some of the things are customized in terms of, you know, the demands and the tests that are required. We might have a list of uh, 
test that uh, you know we have out there but a customer will come with something different and say my need is 1G3 so there isn't like a generic price it depends on the customer and how we customize your test and then okay. therefore we can you know give you yes we can move forward so now let's say there's somebody who's quite interested in getting yeah. their cannabis tested they do not have a license yeah do you guys then assist them in terms of not not acquiring the license obviously sure. but do you then direct them and say okay cool you can go to such an organization they'll be able yes. to assist you to get the license yes. and once you have that license then we'll be able to test you guys yes we do, do that, that. Uh, we work very closely with the cannabis consultants in the industry okay so we have very good relationship working with them if we have a farmer who comes to us and say guys i have a farm but however i'm having issues in terms of you know uh, getting accreditation or i don't know the how about mm. in getting accreditation we always refer to them because we have a great relationship with the consultants oh wow yeah and you're not going into the villages and the rural areas to try because people are cultivating yeah. there to, to try we, and assist them look we already have an inquiry from one of uh, a representative of a cooperative in eastern cape okay we have uh, sort of in you know uh, in in the middle of engagement in terms of developing a service level agreement with them yeah so yeah we service anyone and anyone commercial uh, small scale subsistence as long as you're accredited uh, we do service you absolutely wow that yeah. is awesome yeah oh, okay and are you your interest here in the cannabis expo is what exactly so the interest is obviously coming from you know the food I um, mean, for this, from the safety side. Safety, yeah. Okay. So we say, uh, because of again following, you know, the regulations, says this is how much, for instance, of CBD needs to go into your your cannabis. Yeah. So we come in from that point of view, so we can help you, so that you are within within the law, within yeah. the vicinity of the law. So th that's that's our angle. We are here to say to everyone here, look. If you need testing to be within the regulation, we are here to provide the service. That is awesome. So that, you, so that your product in the market is regulated and you don't have to worry about any decriminalization <laughs> or anything like that. I get it. Yeah. Uh, no, thank you so much for coming thank you to Mo. our show. Thank you very much, Mohe. Oh, you are most welcome. <laughs> and on that note, please do remember to cannabis responsibly at all times. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, and share buttons below. We would also appreciate your comments. And remember to cannabis responsibly at all times.